Hello everyone, it's Yulia. I've been in my new parents' shoes for three and a half weeks now. Eleni is three and a half weeks old. And guess what? Parenthood, especially if you're a new parent, is insane. It's a crazy experience. At the same time, it's just so rewarding. Eleni is starting to smile. She's making all sorts of funny faces and she kicks fast and she just does these funny moves and all of a sudden your tiredness or whatever it is that you're going through, whatever emotions you're going through are just being compensated by that little smile, by that cute face. So today I'm going to talk to you about my pregnancy and what happened to me as I stayed on a fruit-based and low-fat, raw-based vegan diet. So that means that the majority, the bulk of my calories came from fruit, but 96 to 90, 98% of my calories came from fruit in my diet. So my diet was fruit-based, raw-based, vegan throughout my whole pregnancy. And I'm really, really excited to share with you whether or not my pregnancy has been different if compared to other pregnancies you hear about and see. Now, before I start telling you about my pregnancy, let me make a quick announcement. I'm going to be posting a question and answer video about my pregnancy. I know a lot of you have got a lot of questions regarding my journey. So some of you have asked me whether I supplemented, others have asked me whether I stayed fully raw throughout my whole pregnancy. I'll be very, very happy to answer these questions in my next video. So if you have any questions that you would like to be answered, please feel free to post them below and I will see what I can do. I will certainly do my best at answering your questions and I really look forward to it. Now, another little quick announcement. I'm back in my pre-pregnancy dress, three and a half weeks into my motherhood journey. Yes, yes, yes. So my weight is just melting away. I'm so surprised. Every single day I'm waking up and I just look at myself and I'm slimmer and trimmer. And I haven't even started exercising properly. You know, you just, I'm just taking it easy. I'm walking, I'm doing a little bit of strength, a little bit of Pilates, a little bit of insanity, light one to keep my sanity. So, uh, you know, I'm really surprised at how this lifestyle brings you back to shape and how quickly it does so. Okay, so when we conceived our precious girly, Eleni Capea Tarbeth, we were in England. That was back last year, back in 2013. And by then, we were following a high fruit and low fat raw vegan lifestyle for four years already. So this summer it will be five years. And I must say that I really reached my fittest ever shape and form and I felt fantastic at the time. I, I loved the way I looked, I loved the way I felt and it really seemed like I just stepped into my new body, completely new transformed body. I had just completed my six hour endurance running race, I was training for a triathlon and I just really felt very strong in my body, mind and soul. Now something that I really want to share with you is that prior to me switching to this lifestyle, to high fruit, low fat, raw vegan lifestyle, I had fertility issues and doctors, gynecologists wanted to put me on medication and you know I had to take lots of different hormones to correct my fertility issues and to gain my fertility. However, deep in my heart, I believed that I could do it myself. My body could restore my fertility if I followed the right diet and the right lifestyle. At the time of conception, we were in England. It was summer. We had a lot of fun together. This is how babies come about. And um, I actually didn't know that I was pregnant at the time. So to cut a very long story short, for the next five months, yes, five months, I didn't know that I was pregnant. I tested myself four times at different stages of my pregnancy. 
and I went through a lot of frustration and it was a puzzle for me to understand what was happening to me. Deep inside I felt that, you know, all the symptoms show that I'm pregnant. Tests at different stages of my pregnancy would constantly show that I was not pregnant, so I thought, well, okay, I can train. So I started training for a double distance triathlon, for the Olympic distance triathlon, and I was already several months pregnant at the time. And I was really amazed at just how much energy I had. Of course, yes, I felt a bit, I, I felt much slower. I was getting slower. I couldn't quite understand why I was training as hard, why I was eating my regular diet, healthy diet, fruit-based, low-fat, raw vegan, and why was I putting weight? And, you know, I was really beginning to question a lot of things about this lifestyle, even though deep inside I always felt that everything was right. So anyhow, on the 12th of November, we conducted our webinar with Karen Ramsey on healthy raw nutrition for children and teenagers, which you are very welcome to explore if you're a parent or parent-to-be and you want to keep your children healthy. It's a great, great resource to discover. Funnily enough, on that very day, I found out that I was pregnant. A gardener told me that, ha, ah, you know, you're pregnant, you're having a baby. And by then I, I got rather frustrated and I thought, you know, for goodness sake, people think that I'm pregnant now and what's going on? And I'm growing. It's clearly, it's very clear that I'm growing. So I went to the pharmacy. I bought myself two pregnancy tests. Both of them showed positive right away. That was the happiest day of my life, I can tell you. And the happiest day for Paul also. At the same time, it was rather, you know, it was rather challenging to discover that I was five months into my pregnancy. Five months. So we had just 20 weeks left, or less actually. You've got to be ready well before you give birth to sort so many things out in our lives. And... Um, we went through a lot of trials and tribulations during those 20 weeks, reorganizing and rearranging our whole life <laughs> and uh, finding a place where I could birth. And of course, I'm all into natural birth. I know my body can birth naturally. So we wanted to be in a place where I would feel comfortable and where I could connect to a lot of women I could learn from. And, you know, it was first experience for me and very short space of time to learn a lot of information. So, yes, looking back at my pregnancy, all I can do is just express gratitude to this lifestyle for enabling me to experience incredible pregnancy it was golden age, my golden age. I didn't go through all the heavy symptoms that many women go through. I didn't experience swelling. I didn't experience morning sickness and as I said for the first five months I was training like an athlete. Now I would of course have taken it much easier if I knew that I was pregnant. None nonetheless I had the strength and I had the energy to exercise and perform all the tasks. I didn't put huge amounts of weight at all. There was no fat hanging off me anywhere and uh, it, I, I felt so amazing about it because when I firstly discovered that I was pregnant, five months into my pregnancy, I was a little bit concerned about getting out of shape. Well, my fear did not materialize. Here I am, you know, back into my shape and I'm really feeling amazing. I'm feeling amazing for delivering a new child to this world. So here is my journey shared with you guys. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you would like to share it with other parents who can benefit from this information, please share it with others. Spread the word. Help to spread the word. I think that the world needs to know that there are different pregnancies. Women need to know. Parents need to know. Men need to know. Everyone needs to know that you, know, you don't have to struggle. You don't have to struggle and you don't have to be sick. And by changing your diet, by switching to a healthy diet that is as much raw as possible, that includes abundance of fruits and vegetables, healthy levels of fats, nuts, seeds. You know, you can stay away from hurting animals. You can stay away from causing disharmony to this world. You can stay away from all the unhealthy hormones, 
all the antibiotics, all, all, the, all the things that go into animals that make people diseased, unhealthy, le unhealthy cholesterol, unhealthy levels of protein that of course lead to high levels of protein in pregnant women, causing risks, pregnancy delivery risks. More and more women are actually delivering via C-section, cesarean section. They cannot birth naturally. And in my understanding, this is very sad. It's very, very sad. All animals in nature can birth naturally. Indeed, in some cases it is necessary. It is the only way to deliver a child. However, many C-sections can be prevented. And it's so empowering to know that you can birth your child naturally and you can deliver your child into this world. If you would like to learn more information about the raw food diet and how it can benefit you in your personal situation, please feel free to visit our website at www.rossomhealthy.com. And I'm going to join Paul there in the garden, who is carrying our Eleni in the sling. So we're going to have a walk and talk and just share smiles together and hugs. Thank you very much for watching this video. Eat sweet, be fit. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, post them in the box below. Have a great day. Bye.